Hey you guys, it's Marissa. I hope you enjoyed my process video that I just loaded. I'm thinking I'm going to upload this video tomorrow, so hopefully yesterday you saw it. Um, I'm leaving for Santa Cruz this weekend, and so I just wanted to show you. I, um, I titled it that this is the Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan stuff, if you'd like to see it. I know that there's been a lot of videos out showing it, but just in case some of you have not seen some videos, or maybe there's some pieces that I picked up that you haven't seen, I just thought I'd show you. And um, I, you know, saved some of my money that I used, that I try to stick to a little budget for crafting, but um, I saved it for for this line specifically actually for the Amy Tan line because I didn't think I was gonna like the Dear Lizzie one but as soon as I got it a few days ago I just fell in love with it this is probably by far the second favorite line of Dear Lizzie's that has come out so anyways let's just get straight to it but there are hot buy pads right now at Michael's there is the Heidi Swap one that goes with the picturesque project life kit there is like a pink and mint one with gold accents but it kind of has it's this you know the covers of these paper pads how they're kind of smooth it's this um this texture or finish and I, I didn't really like that but this is uh called watercolor and I I really you know what uh drew me to it is the navy of course I like navy and um coral together but I don't really care for the grayness and the off-whitish background that's in it. But I have been really liking some videos I've seen of layouts that combine both um, bright white, like the back of the paper with that. And it actually, you know, it doesn't, that used to be like a no-no, I swear, years ago. But, um, you know, with mixed media and artsy kind of scrapbooking now it's really like you do what you want kind of stuff so um it you know probably won't look that bad i really like that paper but anyways i just wanted to show you um did i need it no my expedite square is completely full of these pads but um i wasn't going to do it and i was on the phone with my mom and she's um, my fam my parents are coming and my brother and so i um to our trip and so i told my mom there's a beverly's down there which is you know like a michael's or a joann's um i don't know if they have them outside of northern california but there's one down there that i love going to is it's a really good one it has a lot of newer stuff and my mom's like oh yeah i saved some money for us to go shopping so i'm like i uh, did not feel bad spending five bucks because if she's buying me stuff down there <laughs> Not that I need it. Anyway, so I just want to show you this. Plus, this is kind of going to brighten up. Oh, that's ugly. The background. Here we go. Okay, so I ordered the Dear Lizzie stuff from All Scrapbook Steals. And then I ordered, um, oh, and the My Mind's Eye stuff from there. And then I ordered the Amy Tan from Paper Issues. So this is what I got of Dear Lizzie. And I didn't go crazy. I just, you know, picked out the items that I thought that I would really use. And this is the six by six. So I'll just do like a flip so you can kind of see the colors um, that are in here. And, you know, I, I, I just ugh, wasn't sure about this. You know that I just am very vocal about how I don't really care for purple. But I also don't really like plum that much. But I don't know what this is. Is this fuchsia or something? Because that purple I can do. Or is that plum? I'm not sure. But you know what? Oh, wait, we missed one this one right here the windows this is like one of my favorite favorite papers so it's really cute isn't it oh I like that one too she has um isn't fifth and frolic have one like that I don't really like that paper but <laughs> I like that too so anyways there is the six by six and then from paper issues I did get a few of the 12 by 12 papers because I was going through getting some Amy tan and I was like you know what I kind of like those so it's just a few but this one I didn't realize it was the days of the week I thought it was just other words but I really or maybe I got it for this I love big stripes as backgrounds so 
<clears throat> I have some pictures um, put out actually I'm getting ready to do a layout it's, it'll be my first scrapbook process or layout process usually I do the project life ones so we'll see how it goes that one will take hours so I'm gonna have to really cut that down I thought this would be fun to cut out the circles and then this is just gorgeous and I wish I got two pieces and then this is the background and then I've never gotten anything you know free from paper issues before so she sent me these maybe if you spend a certain amount but I you know I could have swore I sent, spent that <laughs> much before but anyway so, so these are fun papers to have in my stash so um yeah th those were from paper issues but I wanted to show you the uh papers that I got from there so I showed you the six by six I got the puffy stickers, which I don't know really if I like these, um, because I didn't realize how big they were. Um, that says, oh, love so big. So this is probably the only thing that I kind of question, like, hmm. Um, here are the tickets, and I wasn't sure about these, but this, these are actually, um, the perfect color I don't know if they're gonna come up here yeah they kind of do of mint this is the perfect color of mint I already said that but <laughs> these are so cute I can't wait to like staple these I gotta get some gold staples so I got those as well I got the washi book and I should have known since I did not like how the fine and dandy one was cut but I'm hoping that these are cut different or cut better I guess I could just show it to you so they're just all of them are gold I'm not very good at this am I yeah they're upside down but we'll just you can get kind of an idea some lips some leaves wait I got two of those or do you oh you get two of everything duh I guess it doesn't really matter how this one's cut because oops it's all white but anyway so I got this and remember all scrapbook steals is a little bit cheaper than anywhere else or cheaper than some places that I've seen this is here let's get the glare off this is the 6x12 um, sticker sheet but you know if you open it up so my crew is cute Mondays are for fresh starts. Not really. Actually, Thursdays and every other Wednesday are, since it's my husband's schedule. <laughs> um, one free bear hug. So, yeah. So, there's that. And then I just got... So it was expensive. Um, what did I get? Well, I... Oh, let's see how I could do this. Sorry, you guys. Let's, <clears throat> I got the um, die cuts, of course. Here's the back of it, and then let's just take them out because um, I like to kind of, you know, gauge how big things are. These are cute. Let's just say, roam, roam where you want to roam around the world. Your love is as bright as ever, 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 ever. What's the? Oh, ah, you can get all Larry with that. So here we go. Few watercolor thingamajiggers and there you go so there's the die cuts and then you can like have a ladle or a cane mm -hmm. <laughs> I cracked myself up okay so the next thing I bought from all scrapbook steals was this is called my story from my mind's eye and it's gold and pink and black with butterflies that I don't really like, but um, it's okay. This is pretty, very pretty. Didn't realize there was mustard yellow, but I like the way it looks, or is it supposed to be gold? It was prettier um, online to me, but when I got it in front of me, actually, actually, wow, I wish I had a 12 by 12 of that. That'd be really good layout to have a focal point picture right there in the middle I thought somebody was in my room but it's my tissue paper going crazy okay sorry so there is the 12 by or 6 by 6 
Um, and then I got this. These were only $1.50. I got these stickers. Happy Cake Day. This must be... Wait a minute. Does it go with it? Hmm. It's kind of random. And then this one. Make Today Amazing. I never got these things. You know, like when they have them blank. Duh. You put words on them, Marissa. And then that. So see, it's mixing like white with off-white. So maybe that's like kind of trendy thing to do because you know I'm all about trendy and then here are the die cuts I put them on this tissue paper that they put in there but um yeah so you get a really big border this nice big word would be a good title I'm gonna lay out some butter okay that sucks sorry kind of got cut off um so anyways here we go <clears throat> so some glasses and a really big jar. What's it put on the time? <gasps> you know what? I just bought. Where are they? Oh, they're kind of different. I was gonna say I just I just got these at Hobby Lobby. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're the same thing, but they're not. But they're really close. So, anyways, okay. So you get some glasses. These are really cute. I actually have I have to wear contacts and glasses. I have some that look like that. I should wear them. So yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm spending too much time. I don't want this to be too long. So that is my mind's eye. And then the last one is, whoa. The last one is Amy Tan. So um, Dear Lizzie's documentary, My Mind's Eye is my story. And then this, um, Amy Tan is Finder's Keeper. So again, I know everybody, some people have seen this, but these are the papers that I got. This is a really cute line. I just really thought that I would like it better, but I think I like the documentary a little bit better. I'm not sure. The papers from these lines, by far, or especially the Dear Lizzie one, I know, I keep saying it, but it, you, I mean, you guys saw it. It's really, really cute. Um, so these ones I got, you know, to obviously to cut out everything. I like the golden. It reminds me of Pony Boy from Outsiders. And then this one. All right, so there's that, and then actually, um, all Scrapbook Steals sent me this as a free freebie too. I have this line and all of these die cuts too, so maybe I'll wrap that to somebody. But um, let me get out. Oops, sorry, the stuff I got from here. So here is the paper that's not open or is it sorry you guys I guess I should have done that but then when I went to go turn or I had to go transfer that video be, you know off downstairs so I could record again all right let's just do this no let's not because <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to be like growling or Kermit, and Kermit came out. So here we go. There's that one. She has some um, pieces of wood that look like that, like wood chips, but I really was like, what the heck am I going to do with those? Let's be real now. And I actually put these cut aparts back. I had these as a 12 by 12, but again, um, you know, I'm always getting those things and I never end up cutting them. So what I was thinking of doing um, was getting all of my papers that have cut apart or, you know, that I had bought to cut apart. And I was thinking of cutting them all up and like putting them in one of my little, um, these are, I really like the, you know, they, but this is on here too. Um, and I like the size of that. What was I saying? Oh, you know, so I can like have a little box of, um, you know, those cut apart so I can finally use them because I mean, what the heck is the purpose of them? If you know, I don't know. I was thinking though, you know, I have some cut aparts. Oh, and I think it repeats itself. I have some cut aparts like this one would be actually cute. Um, but I was thinking of leaving as a whole 12 by 12, you know, and journaling and putting pictures and I don't know. I thought that would be cute to keep, um, a cut apart as, a 12 by 12 layout. I know it's nothing new. People have done it before, but anyway, so there's the paper. Okay. I kid you not. I tried like 
whatever it's called, what's it called, edit this video, and it's just getting on my nerves. I bought this stuff like six years ago, and it's so old news. No, it's not. But um, I'm coming in the middle here because on my video, I was watching it, and like this started freaking out. I was showing you the washi book, and it was like, and so, and it just kept doing this, and I was like, I hate zebras, and why are zebras on here? Yeah, and you didn't want to see that. So I had to cut that part out and redo this because... I have to show you this. It's like all old news now, but I want to share. And my voice is gross. I don't know why. We just got back from Santa Cruz, and so maybe it's because I was screaming on roller coasters. But here we go. Um, these are the die cuts. Yeah, since everybody has shown them already, but I want to show them too. Pineapple. Can somebody tell me why the pineapple is so big right now? Just tell me. Tell me why. John Lennon glasses. Why are the pineapples? Whoever can tell me why... I will send you a pineapple. So here you go. It's cute. It has like acetate and gold. Everybody has gold. And this dude, my homie, Zoe the zebra, who lives in a tall house. We should do that. Want to do that, you guys? Have like a contest and we have to make like like story like stories out of the stuff. Zoe the zebra went to the house because it was really unbelievable. And he wanted to bring flowers because watermelons were out of season. And he was like, we are on a very special journey called life. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. There's the die cuts. Super, super cute. Well, yeah, they are except for Zoe. Okay. And what else did I get? I got the six by 12 sticker sheet, of course. Why wouldn't I? It's really flimsy, but it's because it's really thin stickers. Duh. My hand looks tan. Oh, dang. I look dark. My poor husband, my white husband, um, you know, we were slathering sunscreen on all the kids, and he put it on everything but the back of his neck and his face. <laughs> he had a red neck and a red face. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry. I'm just so overdoing that editing. All right. And then this is the, I already put it in my protector, but this is, Ooh, this is the stamp set that I got. I know she has like four different ones out. Sorry. I'm all over the place. This is the one I got. I just liked these little scribble, these little icons. That's what I liked. Um, but I know there's like a super cute wooden one with the pineapple and, but really I just, I, I don't know. I wouldn't use it. I got a pineapple down there by Zoe. So this is the stamp set that I picked out because I don't need all four. Um, and then here's the washi book. But this one's actually, I think you get more designs in this one. More than um, the Dear Lizzie one. You know, that one only had like a few. So you get some, you get two of each. Oops. So there's six pages. It's cute stuff. This mint and gold is really cute. Oops, sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm not good and professional. But you don't want that from me, right? No. <laughs> Okay, so you get two each of those. So there's all of those little shapes. I kind of like this blue. This is different. Um, I think that's it. I was hoping to get some cute stuff at the Beverly's in Santa Cruz. Nothing. No, I picked up two pieces of paper. And my mom bought it for me. And this, I've been seeing this prismatic um, online. And I was like, oh, this is so cute. I'm going to use this. It would go with this line. So I turned it over and I'm like, Okay, and then you just have like a little bit of pink, and then it goes back into it. So, hmm, it's supposed to be like this gradual change, but <clears throat> you can't really mix this with these, can you? I don't know. That was kind of disappointing. I was hoping it was all rainbow. And then I just got these treat bags to layer behind pictures, and they were only a buck fifty. So that's it. That's it, my peeps. I'm so sorry that this video is all over the place, but I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, okay, I am going to be putting up, oh uh, gosh, it's the third, I think it's Thursday or Friday, will be my design team project video, process video, and I'm working on some mixed media, so I will upload that soon. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye!